Hello, my name is Esther Bruno Nagala, and I do my grandmother's dreaming. Um, my grandmother Nata Nomurai and Nancy Russ, they gave me, passed the story on to me. Um, it's a bush racing bush tomorrow dreaming. My grandmother's story comes from Marapindi, where she grew up. It's west of Kinto, Western Desert. Lines with the dots, I um, it's a sand hill, sand dune. All these lines go around. They all uh, sand, sand hill and sand, sand dunes. And these are blue bush plants and grinding stone. And all the uh, ladies, the uh, little lines there. They are light ladies picking the um, bush raisin and grinding it. Grinding stone is here, here, and up there. And this is um, when they put um, the bush raisin together, they put it in, in a um, special rock, like here, special rock, and they get grinded, grinded together and make it into a marble like this, hold it for um, when you have a, um, you can carry it around like a snake bar. Bush racing starts out as a bush tomato. First it comes yellow, then it gets ripe and then dry and become a bush racing. From yellow it turns brown and darker brown. Yeah, sometimes we grind it and make it into a little marble and eat it. Sometimes give it to some little kids they can eat. It come into a paste and you can roll it into a um, little bowl. You can mix a little bit of water on that to make it more um, sticky. We still do get bush raisins. I think it's it's this season and we get bush raisins, we collect them and some of them have a um, little bit of um, little bit of hair from the um, sticky leaf. We um, get the bush raisins and yep, sometimes we put it in a um, column and take it to a um, special ground and we put the bush tomato and bush raisins together and rub them in the sand and rub it up so the wind can blow the dirt away from the bush raisin and bush tomato and it will be good to eat and it will be um, good for your stomach too. You don't have to go to the bathroom. I live in bush in a community outside of Alice Springs. And I, I go out bush, we always go out bush. And I see in in my country, you know, I see the plants and the leaves, uh, the rocks and the colors. It makes me connected, yeah. Yeah, my uh, grandmother, Rata Numura, I also did this in her paintings, in her other paintings, she always, uh, she sometimes just do them on the um, squares and lines in her painting and also I do my um, squares, uh, it represent um, the rock, rock hills and the seeds, seeds um, scattered everywhere. The, um, at I don't, I don't put um, seeds on top of these, but I put seeds on, on top of these because sometimes the seed, um, bush raising seed, when it dries up, it flies away and go to a different place and sometimes um, bird or the animals eat it mm -hmm. and they go and poo and the bush raising grows there and 
and everywhere. Well, I, I really like art, love the desert colors, and sometimes I like to experiment with um, other colors, but I usually use the desert colors. What I see when I go out bush, go camping, sometimes people, you know, we stay away from home in town, and sometimes we miss home, sometimes painting makes us happy, sometimes you think about home mm -hmm. and do all the colors what you like, in, you know, when you see it, you know, where you come from.